So I've had a good weekend, but before I go on to talk about what I did today, um, I was very really tired yesterday. So the video that I made when I came back, <coughs> um, I, I don't really know if it was that good. Um, I don't think I, I, I was planning on saying things and I don't think I actually said what I said. Um, it was my sister's birthday. And I think the main reason why I wanted to see this or go to that show was because of Sophie Alice Baxter, um, who is the angel that I've named Angel of Wisdom. And she also has weird connections with my sister and um, like a lot of the songs seem to link to her. And it's interesting how, I don't know if they planned this or if they deliberately, like the organizers had it on my sister's birthday. So they had the, um, the girl who represents my sister or partly represents my sister, like has connections to my sister in her songs happens to be singing in Soliho, which is only um, well, it's about an hour bus ride, but um, it's probably only a half an hour car. Um, it's, it's in Birmingham, basically. And that's happened to be on the same day that my sister's birthday was. I did invite my sister, but my sister has gone on holiday somewhere in um, Portugal to, with her new boyfriend. I'm glad that she's got a new boyfriend. I have not met the guy. don't know much about him, but he seems like he's good for her, or at least I, I just hope that he can stop her from having another baby in the next year. Um, and... Um, and yeah um but yeah it was interesting also how there was like some girls celebrating a birthday in in the in the, in the concert and and the blue band when they were singing they asked this girl what's you know whose birthday is it who, whose birthday are you celebrating it's interesting because they said that that girl was called sophie just like another coincidence so there's a group of people celebrating a birthday and the name is called sophie and it's also some sophie is playing and sophie represents my sister sophie and it's just yeah it's coincidences like this they just make me feel like i'm living in the matrix and then i go to what the event today um the, the it wasn't just rainy yes it, yes yesterday it was very rainy and it wasn't as bad today it would have been much better i think it, if it was being sunnier yesterday because i you know i wanted to be there for to show support to the artists and to show i just have to have a good time um and this one i think if it would have been a rainy day if, if it the weather today would have been as bad as yesterday i probably would have walked away from the film um it was a very and i'm glad i stayed i really enjoyed it um at the beginning um which is probably the best time for it to be dry um they had lots of little like like groups and and you could see different performances and um stalls and selling burger vans but um, what I did today felt like it felt like a concert only instead of the main performance being um, a live performance it's, it was like it was actually a film and um, that's actually a really good idea I think it's a really good idea because it's a funny thing um, you know artists are great and I want to encourage them to to go on tours and stuff but at the same time hiring an artist can be very expensive because they they charge a lot for it um, and if the film industry want to do a similar thing to what the singers are doing, only a film version of it, you know, I, I think that there could be a lot of interest in that, you know. Um, so it was a Greece film that we were watching, um, and you know, all the all the dancers and performers were dressed up in 1960s. I think Greece is quite an easy one to do because 1960s or 1970s is is a very distinct time. Lots of color, lots of horrible clothing I would say and yeah I didn't I don't like the film very much actually because I, I think the guys just look like sleeve balls or assholes and um I think if if Sandy did have any taste she'd just be like what are you wearing or what what kind of or how much mousse are you putting in your hair and then she wouldn't be interested in the beginning but um yeah then there wouldn't be a film so um I guess it's you know it's 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 not it's not a bad film I feel like people might relate the Sandy character to me um but I, I don't think I'm anything like her, really. If you knew anything about me, you'd realize that this she's way too, um, I don't know, um, I don't think she's that bright, actually. I don't think she's that bright. But I, I don't think any of the characters in, in the film are bright. But um, it was it was lovely, though, because it had this big marquee, and it was really amazing how you could come in, and it felt like you'd just gone back to the 60s, and it felt like, you know, there was, like, some school, school pom, and the day before, I actually listened to, the you know, the... At, at Sophie Alice Bexter are doing the murder on the dance floor and there's like a competition and well that is basically what they have they do in the Grease show they um they do um um the, the the you know like some sort of dance competition and um the main the main field felt like the um, there's a scene in the film where where they go into like a, a merry-go park theme park or something um and so yeah it I kind of felt like a 4d or a 5d film where you've got the film uh that you're watching and then you're looking around and you actually feel like you're 
in in that that um place that park and it's it, it really does bring it back to life you know you can look around and you can see there was like um, a bar that looked also like a garage and um they had a ferris wheel and um you know i think that there could be quite a lot of money in this kind of thing you know and i was i was thinking about what other films like they could do um and you know wizard of oz that would be an interesting one i suppose you could have like an some sort of the 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 the, the, the screen um could be surrounded by some sort of castle around it that looks like like that or something and then you could have like um a, a yellow brick road somewhere in the middle of it and i suppose you could have a scarecrow in one area like as if like ideas themes ideas to sort of th five five deify or whatever it is five deify five deify the film so you can see the film as the main the sort of main attraction that's like the main it's like the singer basically and then you um you can have like a tent or something else that relates to the film um you could sell merchandise of of different things um i don't know sh selling products or, or whatever i don't know what kind of stands you would have but um i think that's quite a lot i think it's actually got quite a potential to go somewhere you know you could have like a half market a marquee um where you have lots of things being sold that are under that theme so um, or this austin powered theme so you have the film as the sort of main the main attraction and then you also have um people selling 60s or vintage clothing you have a vintage clothing stall stand and um and uh, take up some of the other scenes maybe and and make it look like so you have like a room where you walk into it and you feel like you um i don't know I, 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 these are just some ideas I, I it's hard to just come up with with a huge amount of ideas but you you, you take like there's there's the one where um the multicolored like dance scene the 60s dance scene for this one you could have like a, a bar that looks like um the the bar the the disco in in this place and and or, or for um this one I, I don't know you could have um a ghost ride you know like that you have um in in theme parks you have a haunted house ride or something so you could have a haunted house ride on, on the side where you pay extra for to go around um and you, you could even have a haunted house where um you go in and and there's like some sort of act going on just before the film and um and they actually had some acts at the bottom so you had the, the screen at the top and then they had a stage and then they had some acts kind of miming the scene so it looks like you're watching the film but then you're also looking down on the scene and you're seeing that that um that same set sort of being recreated only that the actors are like miming the words of of the film so i, I yeah i think that's quite um quite a, a big market you know, um, um, men in black would be a, another one um i guess you'd have to have it looking like a big agency building or something where the screen is at and um and then you could have lots of people dressed up as monsters walking around um and you, you could even give people free tickets if they you know if they agree to dress up like a monster or um or have some sort of or men in black i mean everyone could dress them in, in men in black on, on that idea and um i don't know you need to think about the different ideas of, of like scenes you need to look in the film and find interesting sets and see if you can recreate it and then have like part acting and then the film is the main event and and you, you could easily charge 50 pounds um you know for, for for one of these and of course so you would also make money on the stands of selling food and drinks and um matrix as well that would be that would be a really good one to do i know you would have a difficulty though which one would you play matrix one two or three um because yeah unless you had a whole day thing where you have one two three you can show like one being um you know 12 to two or yeah 12 to three and then three to four and then so that would be like you could you could you could do that where you just play all, all of them in a row and people okay wouldn't just be there for the film they would also be there um i don't know with with this one you could have stalls that sell like futuristic clothing i know there's a big market of futuristic clothing and um or even just black clothing or um gadgets fake gadgets that look like guns or, or i don't know whatever computer there can be lots of computer stalls where you're where you're selling computer merchandise and um and you can do i'm sure there's loads of um rides or roller coasters that have futuristic mirror house or something i i, I don't know you, you could have like a whole sort of theme park slash film as as well as market and i don't know different ideas the carry one well you, you could assume that there'd be some there could be like some sort of dance where you throw 
and you know there's parties where you throw paint everywhere um you can have like a paint disco in the middle and, and tell people to deliberately wear um cl uh, what paint pa wear um, clothes that it's going to get covered in paint or something so that would that would be more of like a carry with a nightclub at the back or something carry and a, a carry not carry nightclub night or something where you can sell alcohol and and have to bring clothes that get completely covered and, and the, these are just films that i've just randomly picked up as, as ideas um I suppose independence i don't know if it's a necessarily a very popular film um i but it's got the idea of aliens and i don't know if you could aliens is a, is a big theme for a theme park and i'm sure there's loads of rides that um are of alien themed or something I, I don't know there's there's lots you could do with seeing this made me realize that there's a lot you can do with the idea of a sort of themed movie night fair i guess, I guess it is it's kind of like half performance half film half um um food and drink sales um and um but yeah i just thought i'd say that